Hey, big cliche g'day folks, and welcome back, finally, uh, ooh, to the underside of my avatar. No, welcome back to Mo Carrot. This is just going to be a little short, because I need to, I have some explaining. I have some splaining to do. Uh, behind me, you may remember, it has been a while, my Mo Carrot house. But I'm going to take you on a bit of a tour, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to explain why it's been so long. And there she is. You can see, fairly similar, but I do not have any decking out the front. Ooh, why is that? Over here, my bird aviary, or as I couldn't pronounce it in episode one, aviary, is a little bit different, and no crops here. Mm, what is going on? Well, uh, a while back, perhaps in... Let me just show... Oh, I have no... I'm going to change into uh, game mode anyway, because I need to do a bit of a fly-through um, to show you guys around. Uh, yes, back about episode 3, 4 maybe it was, uh, there was a bit of a boo-boo uh, where I had actually come into Mo Carrot. Unfortunately, I was in the ro wrong profile and it had changed from Biomes O Plenty to default. So everywhere that hadn't, all the biomes that hadn't loaded where I hadn't been to were just default biomes. So I don't know if you guys remember that over in that general direction there, there was like wilderness and green foresty biomes, but then it was just default, default, default. Back that way is that big ravine and the, the dead marshy area, and then it was default, default, default. Over this way here was pretty much because I hadn't been there yet, it was the Lavender Fields and default, default, default. Uh, that the default class of Lavender Fields is actually where I got most of my horses from. That is no longer there. So the reason this has taken so long, and I'll just let you have, guys have a look around while I'm telling. Most of this is the same, but I've actually had a chance to um, plan this ha house out uh, a little better than it was because I have had to redo all of this. All of this I have had to redo. You can see this looks pretty much the same. Uh, I've got I've got a few more trees here than I did have. Uh, but this is pretty much the same. Let me back in. Thank you very much. Uh, I have also... Ooh, spooky noises. I've changed this little bit here. This is... Stay in there. I have, I'll explain the raccoons in a, middle, in a minute. I've changed this area here just because it looks a little bit nicer. I've put some beams under here and blah, blah, blah. have added the, uh, the little tunnel. So that's back to there and there's the staircase down, but I don't need to go there. So yes, everything was changed to default. So what I had to do was recreate the seed, uh, find the X, Y and Z coordinates to where this area was, which I was quite lucky because, um, oh yeah, new chest room. Because uh, it was quite near the spawn anyway, and I have actually built this house on the exact same foundation um, that the original one was. Let me close this. Now, I may have actually got it on easy at the moment. So, oh, no, there's spiders. Um, I was going to say so we don't get interrupted. Uh, so, yes, the crops are no longer over there. I have moved them over here, but I've done... See, there's only I haven't really concentrated too much on breeding. I've got the animals back here. We've put sheeps in there as well. Not a fan of building with wool, um, but you've got to have them. This will be an area when I actually eventually find some melons, which I haven't found yet. But I've got wheat, I've got carrots, and I've got uh, pumpkin, as I had before. Um, all of this has... I mean, if I hadn't told you guys, you might just think I'd... I don't know, just developed or, or rebuilt, but this is, I have put everything back where it belongs. I've got my four turtles, as you can see. I have my um, Kimoto dragons, all three of those, and I've put the saddle back on Kameko. Uh, an extra snake in there because I had actually found that egg, but I hadn't hatched him. And I've changed the stables up a bit. Let me just kill this creeper. And, oh, maybe I am on easy. Oh no, I'm in game mode. Derp. I thought I was going to get hurted. Um, and there we do have um, Horton. Horton's back in his pen, which actually took me a while to get him because I had to spawn about 50 elephants to, to get the right one because he's an African grey, I think. He's not, a, he's not an Asian elephant. But you can see, look at this. You may have noticed that in my other uploads, I was basically only getting regular creepers. Now... I'm getting the new ones. It's kind of the whole point of having the elemental creeper mod. 
Fantastic. So that's gonna be um that's gonna be a new thing as well. And I've just kind of pimped out the stables here. I've given the uh, the breeding house this is kind of a smexier breeding house and Muggsy and Mini Biscuit are still going hammer and tongs like they do. Um we got Tyra Grace is back. We've got Tyler. I have actually there you go, this is my other Tyler, my Dark Lord. There you go, buddy boy. You've actually got a name now. Yes, I cheated it in, but bite me if you care. Dark Lord, that is for you, dude. Extra addition. Extra addition to my, uh, to my Zorse stable. Hey, Chuck. This is Chuck, everybody. Everybody, Chuck. Chuck, everybody. There he is. He's my Zorse. He's going to be, he's going to be a fairy. He's going to be a fairy horse. Uh, so these are all my guys back where they should be and all as well. So when I do actually upload an official episode of Mo Carrot, uh, you'll know why everything is a little bit different. Now I'll quickly pop inside and I will explain my herd of raccoons. I'm stuck on a fence piece. That's awesome. Okie dokie, let me just bounce inside. I do prefer my chest room like this. I've respawned a lot of the stuff that I had. Um, the mob drops especially, because, I mean, getting the hearts of undead and, and fire, that would have just been a pain. The ores I've gotten in as well. Uh, and these, these are all the drops that I've gotten from um, werewolves and such. I do have a little bit of glass and sand, a little bit of cobble and dirt. I haven't spawned in the wood yet because I'm actually in the process of creating a tree farm over this way. Let me just bounce over here. Over here. Oh, hello werewolf. Yeah, hello to you too. Uh, so this area here I'm going to slowly flatten out and end up making a tree farm because with biomes of plenty, there's, there's an extra... I don't know, like 15 different types of trees, and I want to make stuff out of all of them. All right, I'll just pop into the other room because that werewolf is being too noisy. So, as I was saying, I was just going to pop in here to explain the raccoons, which will be the last thing I'm going to need to talk to you guys about in this uh, short episode. Uh, I've always had Rana on because she's cute and she makes me jump high. One thing I completely forgot was that Rana actually attracts animals. So in the last couple of weeks since I've been building this house back up, um, I've been getting many, many a raccoon start following me because of Rana. Come on, Rocky. And I figured they're raccoons, so I've got Rocky, I've got Roxy, I've got Raquel, Russell, there they are, Ricky. So I think I've got four raccoons so far and they're all following me around because of Rana. So I'm going to take Rana out next time I do a proper episode to see what else she can attract um, and probably AFK between now and then I'll build a enclosure for my raccoons. I might put a nice tree house in it or something like that for them to play around in. Uh, but that, that explains. I, I couldn't have just like named them and then killed them basically. So that's that's why I've got these guys. There's another one around here somewhere. So guys, as I said, this was just going to be short and sweet, explaining to you what has been going on, why I've been gone so long, and why things look different. So I hope this uh, this has satisfied your mo carrot needs. And there's not much else to say except uh, say good day to your neighbour.